Hey everybody, it's David Scarpetta with Get Found Marketing, and today we're going to show you how to do keyword research the right way. And what I mean by right way, I mean a way that you'll be able to find the great long tail action and actually start to be able to rank now instead of later. So step one on how to do effective keyword research. Whether you're a pro or you're a new school and you're just starting to learn how to do this stuff, this is going to be an easy methodology for you to grasp and apply it to just about any type of site that you have. Okay, So if you have a product or service, whatever you may have, uh, whether you're e-commerce or a blog, you want to find analogies for the topic you want to talk about. Now, for example, we're going to take one of these sites, uh, in particular, hoverboards. So you know that hoverboards were pretty popular for the past few years. At Christmas time, they have a big history behind them, and they were a hot product. But nobody knew they were hoverboards, technically. They just thought they were like these gliding rollerblade type of things, right? But we decided to say, hey, listen, what do people call these things? So what we did is we came up with a list of analogies. A lot of people thought that the hoverboards were scooters and maybe some of the scooters were hoverboards. So we decided it's like, well, we're kind of confused what it is. Well, it's a hoverboard scooter. Let's type that in. So we typed in hoverboard scooters and we've seen it had a very high volume. Okay. Now this volume shows us that people are calling it scooters as opposed to hoverboards. People would type in electric skateboard or electric hoverboard. So we had three different types. Now, if your product or service is new and it's not in the dictionary, then we get it, right? You're not going to find another analogy. But this is kind of where the creative flow process comes in. And you really need to think about three different terms that can describe your product or service. Now, just because something is very technical, sometimes, depending on your service, it could be a very technical service, right? Some people can type HVAC, right? HVAC is a technical service uh, for the industry that handles, you know, air conditioning, heating, stuff like that. The normal person who has an air conditioner problem will just type in broken air conditioners or, you know, air conditioner repair or air conditioning repair. So you have to understand that, again, if you find three analogies for your product or service, it's going to be able to give you a good feedback on what now we have as a base keyword. Step two, make sure Google autocomplete is turned on. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your three analogies of your keyword set and you're going to start to type it in. So, for instance, we'll use the hoverboard scooters. You type in hoverboard scooters once it's a hoverboard and then space scooters, you'll start to see an auto suggestion. Those auto suggestions, as long as you don't press enter, will continue to show as you start to type. Those are actually long tail keywords or long tail phrases that people are typing in to try to find relative products and services to yours. So what do you do? Well, you scoop those bad boys up as well. Sometimes you can take a screenshot or if you'd like, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and sometimes they'll say other suggested searches. Those suggested searches are actually just as powerful, if not more powerful than the initial search that you are looking for because they're being auto suggested by Google because people have a volume that they've been typing in over the case of a week, two weeks, three weeks and a month. So there, even if it doesn't show in Google Trends, and I know a lot of you guys use trends and insights and all that good stuff. But again, there's a lot of emerging data. Not everything is going to be showing in Google Trends. So if you start to see keyword phrases that are being suggested, I suggest hop on them right away. So step three is if you have a localized business. So for instance, we're going to use the word air conditioning. So you're going to use the city plus the service. So in Google, you're going to type in, let's say, Los Angeles air conditioning. Or you're going to switch the two, and then you're going to type in air conditioning space Los space Angeles. And it's going to show you other relative terms in your business because obviously, if you're going to type in air conditioning, you're probably going to do air conditioning repair or air conditioner servicing or air conditioner contracts. So now you're going to start to see other suggestive terms for your business in this local area. And that's going to help you substantially with your content marketing research. So step four is the easiest step of all. 
Once you have your small list of keyword phrases, head over to mykeywordfinder.net, copy, paste, and then it's off to the races. My Keyword Finder Internet is going to actually find a ton of those long tail phrases that you don't have to jump through hoops to get. And these are actually phrases that people are searching on Google. Now, are they going to be the highest search volume in the world? Are they going to get 100,000 or 10,000 or even 5,000? Probably not. But we're looking for that low hanging fruit. We're looking for the fruit that's targeted to your users. As much as I've been doing this stuff, and I've been doing this stuff a really long time, even sometimes me, I don't even think about some of these terms that people are typing in. And if you can actually get that user and you build a content page on your site specifically for that user, you are now gonna win and you're gonna get that traffic sooner than later because nobody is paying attention to those phrases. All right, guys, well, it's simply that easy. Those four steps are gonna get you started in the right direction to ranking your site now, getting traffic now, and doing keywords research the right way, okay? And listen, if you really like this awesomeness here at Get Found Marketing, do me a favor and just hit the subscribe link. It's on the bottom, or it might be on the top on mobile, or it actually might be out through the entire video. But once you hit subscribe, also click that little bell that goes next to it because it will notify you every single time a video comes down the pipe because you know what? I know you're building backlinks. I know you guys are marketing. You're working hard, staying strong. And you just don't really have time to be checking back this video channel every time I pump something out. So do me a favor, hit subscribe, all right? And listen, one more thing. Give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to thumbs the video up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget, rank and bank.